And the next thing I want to do is show you another version of that tool. And I'm going to get rid of this shape here. And um, I suspect most everybody remembers um, on holidays, at least a, a time or two, that um, at least I can remember my mom would buy these decorative uh, crepe paper uh, shapes. It might be a bell, it might be a Christmas tree, it might even be something like a pumpkin. And it would come and it would be um, flat and um, collapsed, if you would, and she would um, have this, uh, these little shapes and then she would open it up and it would become a three-dimensional object and she would generally, then it had a little tab usually on the top or something where you could uh, snap it in place and then suddenly you would have this three-dimensional object um, like a bell or a Christmas tree. Well, this works the same way and so notice I'm purposely creating this little shape that looks like it's flat and it's kind of like half of a shape. And then with it selected, again, I'm going to go up under Effect, go to 3D. But this time I'm going to choose the second option, which is Revolve. Revolve. <clears throat> Once again, it looks initially like the same dialog box. Once again, we've got the more options and we want to turn on the preview. And as soon as we turn on the preview, once again, um, we see that this thing is going to become an amazing um, little object. And um, you can uh, see the uh, object. Once again, I'll click it and turn it. and we can see how amazing um, in its uh, very simple manner that um, this object um, does some very cool things. Now, um, you know, I'm wondering, um, I've got a little bit more black than I intended. I'm going to stop this. I'm going to cancel for just a second and I'm going to take my black stroke off here. Okay and I'm going to go back in. Um, it probably works a little bit better or it gives you a better effect without a stroke on the object. So effect 3D, revolve, and um, more options, preview, and there you see this pretty amazing little object. And um, you know, like a cylinder and you can actually see a down inside of it. And you can still see right here the shape as it was, the half uh, shape um, in its flattened state. But once again, um, we can um, adjust the angle of it, we can adjust the lighting of it, and of course uh, we can also again uh, play with the color, um, you know, and if we want, and and do um, a different a different color on our object, and um, I just think it's amazing that it does some pretty sophisticated, pretty cool looking stuff um, within seconds, and you don't need to be a 3D uh, artist and uh, magician to um, get some very cool um, uh, things out of this program. And uh, so there you have it. Once again, Illustrator and all of its magic and uh, what it does so beautifully and really in quite a simple, um, elegant manner.